Hi everyone, my name is Reto, also known as Xresh in the internet. I'm a designer from Switzerland and I mainly create design assets for other designers. Some of these design assets you can find in the Affinity Store. And uh, today I want to show you how you can use the smoke brushes to create some really nice effects and I will mainly focus on the fire effect uh, that you can see in the example images. So let's get to it and I wish you a lot of fun with this session. I have already opened the image that I will use to demonstrate the fire effect together with my smoke brushes. So before we uh, start, I would show you how you can set up the brushes and also show you a small nice keyboard shortcut that I will as well use during this tutorial. So we have to open the brush panel. If this is not visible, you can go to view studio and uh, open it here. When it's open, we click here to import our brushes. And then we have to go to the place where I have the brushes. When you download it, you just get it from your package. Uh, products. Smoke brushes. Great. And now we have here a new category with the smoke brushes that we can use. Now, before I start, I would go to the preferences and to the keyboard shortcuts and to the paint brush tool. And here we can set two shortcuts that I really recommend that you will do that. Um, I just use two keys on my keyboard that are uh, close to each other uh, so that I can easily decrease and increase the brush size. What is useful when you are using and working with uh, stamp-like brushes. So now we have a nice uh, rather dark image. This effect is uh, better when you use it on a darker image with more dark parts and is uh, not as easy to do on very bright images. So this one actually fits uh, quite well for this effect. So let's do a small brush here. Let's use the paintbrush tool. Then we see we have here the brush, but I do not want to use a black color because I don't see so good what I'm doing. And it's also required to use that for the effect. So let's just put a smoke here. Good. Now we already have this layer here. And now I want to colorize this smoke so that it looks like fire. Now, what I will do is instead on directly coloring this layer, I will create a group that contains this layer and apply the effect on the layer. I already have some pre-made styles here that I can just click and I get already the effect that I need. So let's look into what I'm doing here. So I have an inner shadow 
normal blend mode with uh, this dark red color and an intensity of 24%. I have uh, red bright red 41% and a small radius. So when I put that away, this radius here, you won't see a thing, but if you have just a little bit here, we get a nice effect. Then I put an inner glow so that we get a nice uh, yellowish tint here. And that's it. Uh, these styles, um, I will make sure that they will be included in the latest uh, version of the product that you can get from the Affinity Store, so that you have them at hand as well. Uh, okay, good. So let me just check which one I want to use here. I think this fire effect is quite nice on that one. So now, as you see, I have the group that is colored and this layer is uh, still just white. So the nice thing about that is to this group, I can now just add another layer and put some more, uh, more smoke here to improve my effect. So let me just add some things that I like. Uh, now to get a bit a bit a bigger preview of the brushes, uh, you can double click it and then the brush editing window will open and here you get a bigger preview so that you see what you actually are using. So let me find some nice brush. I searched for this one. Good. So now we can as well turn these brushes so that they will fit a little bit more to our image, like this. To another one. Take the brush again. And this one is nice too. this this one is quite nice too let's put them here so we have now a little bit of smoke uh, fire here. So this effect still doesn't look so great. So it's like still over the image and not in the image itself. It doesn't blend in so well. So before I go and add some more details to the fire, Let's do something about that. So I just want to create another layer and fill this layer with black. Now I take these two, uh, the group with the fire and the black layer and group it together. And now I without um, destroying anything. So I do not have to merge my group with the fire with this layer. 
I can actually use here the various blend modes and when I use the screen here you see it merges much better than when I just have this one. So this is without uh, screen blending mode and this is with the screen blending mode. Now as well what I want to do is take this down to let's say 90% to give a little bit more transparency to this whole thing. And I can also start here, let's say I want to give a little bit, okay, so you see I have a rate low opacity and really small uh, zero hardness so that I can just slightly tune uh, it to the point where I want to have these things here. So, by the way, I really like to use as well shortcuts to switch between the various tools because it makes the whole process much faster. So just go to the, with uh, V, I go to the selection tool, back to the eraser tool, so that I can just fast jump between all that stuff. So, which one is that? That looks fine. Maybe this one I don't really like. It's like too bright for me, so I just delete it. And take another one. Let's see what we will use. Oh, I have to go back to the brush tool. Maybe this one. That looks a bit more fireish. Mm -hmm. Good. So now we can go on and on and on and put more details to it. So we can as well just use a little bit smaller flames to give the whole thing a little bit more detail because now the flames are rather big. So let's use that one here. copy that layer because it's also quite a nice flame here. Let's give that, let's put that here. Let's 
take a little bit more cloudy ones. This one is also quite nice. Shall we do that? Like a little bit of flame here. Yeah, why not? Good. So now uh, we can as well put uh, layer mask here and get back some basic brush. Less opacity. And can just add here a little bit of like this. So. Cool. Now we still have a little bit the issue that uh, our red flames are still sticking out from the image. So what we can do is uh, create a new adjustment layer. Mm. For example, where do we have it? Color balance. Then just give that image a bit more red yellow tint so that the, this will blend in a bit better. Now I will copy this adjustment layer and overdo it not only on the midtones but as well on the shadows like this and I will use that to give around here a little bit more glow so by hint by hitting ctrl E I will invert the mask and now I can use a brush just paint a nice glow around the flames like this Looks quite nice. Now let's try out to give that a little bit more shine and contrast. But as well, I do not want to have that on the whole image, but only partially down here on the flames. Like this. Looks quite nice. Oh, maybe we use that effect as well just to give uh, the back 
background as well a bit more life so let's use that like here a bit What I also uh, often like to do is a nice effect. No, we didn't want to have that one. So that is using a color exactly. Uh -huh. RGB. So I want to use a gray layer like this and use overlay. So as you see, this is doing nothing, but now I can use uh, <laughs> the dodge and burn tools, these two to manipulate some areas of the of the image so I want just to darken some areas as well to give a bit more for lively contrast. Let's use a little bit more like this. Maybe as well a bit of touching. Increase the glow around the rider a bit here. It's a little bit strong, this effect, so I will take it down to let's say 50. Great. Maybe this color is as well a bit strong. Let's take the yellow a bit down. Give it a bit more magenta. Let's check the highlights as well. So now what we can do is we can add as well some more details. Um, for example, let's put here another layer and get the paint tool. Let's take some small brush here. Let's see how big is 50? Yeah, that's not bad. Um, I want to 
change this in the dynamics. I want to have a size cheater. Random. I uh, want to have a bit accumulation cheater. Let's take a bit of everyone and we want to have scatter. I want just to use random on everything. Okay. Good. I think with that I can work. Just if you want to copy the settings, these are the general settings. So everything up, rotation doesn't really matter a lot. I have on my quite big image, I think it's about 8000 pixels uh, wide. So I have 21 pixels and uh, these are the dynamics. So, and you can just now put here a little bit of glow. Just as an example, as some decoration for the flames. Um, this as well, if you have um, dust, um, dust textures, you can as well use uh, them for like these sparkling effects they can come quite nicely uh, or star brushes or as well a cool effect so how does that look if you take that a bit down That's not bad. Now another thing that we can add here is some nice gradients. Let's take them outside of the group and I want to use a gradient that is, let's see, uh, green. And I want it to go to zero opacity. And I do not want to have a linear one, I want to have a radial one. And like that, I can use this to have to colorize my flames and my picture. As you see here, I like this add one here. It's quite a nice glowing effect. Let's make it a bit smaller. Take that maybe here. Let's can I duplicate that one? No, it doesn't work. So let's delete that and do another gradient. Uh, let's take something like this and put it like here Radial. like this
And let's do another one. Now I take the yellow. Let's already take the add here. Radial. Good. Now let's check if you have something else. I think for this one I will use the color modifier. Uh, blend mode, sorry. So we just give that a bit randomity in all the orangey color of the flames. maybe as we use so much of this stuff group it together uh, flames uh, coloring good so this is without coloring with the coloring and Maybe down here we could change a little bit the color as well. So let's take this time a nice red. Radial back here. I think I take uh, soft light. Soft light looks great. So, like this. Great. Good. So, you have a nice, colorful picture with a great flaming effect um yeah feel free to let uh to post a comment and i hope you can use this information to create really cool and nice artwork and um yeah have a nice day